Hey Muffins, subscriber request here for tips and tricks for the E75. I've actually had a few of these, so hoping to compile <laughs> some of these together. I've got a tips and tricks playlist. If there's a tank or aspect of the game you're struggling with, shoot over there. Hopefully that there's uh, something in there that could help you out uh, with the game. So diving right into the E75. The E75 obviously is a heavy tank you want to be put, putting yourself in the positions on the front lines the trenches the thing that's very important to know about the e75 is its armor profile and the armor profiles of potentially other heavies you're most likely going to be facing if they're also positioned correctly a lot of the success of a heavy tank comes from knowing those weak spots where to aim what to look for and you'll even know even noticing even through these replays that I'm looking for those little areas of weak spots. I'm not tunnel visioning, I'm paying attention to where my team is, looking how to support them. So this IS-4 pushing on my mediums up on the hill, definitely wanted to help them. I didn't want the IS-4 to get up there because it's a very well armored tank and be able to help in any capacity I can. So I'm constantly using my third person view to look around, see what other targets are around. I see that there's this other light tank over here on my left hand side. And you'll notice that I'm still, even though the E-75 is a is a fairly well armored tank i'm still using a lot of the landscape even while reloading protecting myself being in those areas also to support my team looking for ways how i can help i'm backing up trying to see but i'm also paying attention to those red markers those arrows and for those that maybe aren't familiar newer to the game those red arrows will get bigger the closer an enemy gets that's outside of your your view range or from where you're looking so i'm trying to be very aware of what's going on and if you get pen sometimes i use my third person view to look at those penetration shots so i don't make that same mistake again um, either when it could be from either over angling or um, thinking that you had side scraped very well enough but you didn't so the e75 does have some gun depression it doesn't have a whole lot so you really don't want to be putting it in areas um, that require a good amount of gun depression um, because you could end up putting yourself in a place to expose your weakness which is not a ton of gun depression and end up facing tanks in areas that have great gun depression. So I'm just using a little bit of this hill, cresting over, I'm being very aware, and I'm peeking over here, just cresting this hill, looking for weak points that I can just shoot off from these enemy tanks right here. But I'm also being very conscientious of that destroyer. When I'm making move and advancements, I'm trying to pay attention of where they are, and um, I notice that FV, over on that hill sniping is a little out of range and I have protection from that landscape to be able to move up just from that area and get shots. Now, <laughs> this team is basically falling apart here. Um, not really a whole lot I can do. One of the things, and it doesn't really demonstrate well here, a tier 10 tank destroyer obviously has great penetration, but I'm wiggling kind of back up against this tiny hill which helps strengthen my lower plate when enemies are trying to aim at it. And it really kind of, you can increase your chances of bouncing rounds when doing that. Um, so if you have a tank or an enemy and you don't have landscape, uh, the option for cover, um, you can kind of wiggle back and forth, try to do anything you can to get those bounces. So here in the second replay, I'm I, at, the, at the very beginning, when the team had called for one side of the map, I, <laughs> I got it mixed up and thought they were going the other way. But I'm wanting to make sure that I'm in a position to support them. There's still some good size on the left or the right. I'm keeping my turret pointed over here because I know there's a spotting, a good area for lights or mediums to, that could potentially spot me. And I wasn't, it's been a while since I'd played these 75, so I wasn't sure if I could quite get a shot off there. But going into town, here he gets a shot off me, and I was a little surprised he was able to get a shot, that second shot off me, because I thought I had been pretty well angled. So here I'm starting to look just at my armor profile real quick, just in a protected position while I'm reloading, um, to see 
how exactly I got penned. But I'm very, I'm being very conscientious about my advancements. I'm looking, and I'm using a lot of deductive reasoning. So I've got enemies over here, there on the right. A lot of them are spotted. The team's advancing. Got some support here. <laughs> And he, this guy gets, like, just some good pens on me. So obviously not a really good demonstration of the E75 and its armor here at the beginning. But I'm using this landscape, using these buildings, um, understanding basic principles of, like, side scraping, just kind of peeking around, looking for those targets. And the E75, like I said, being a heavy tank, you want to be more so up on the front lines. Here I'm just trying to get a quick, any sort of quick snapshot I can get from enemies that are trying to cross over. Um, and then now I'm immediately trying to get into the action so I can utilize um, those strong points in my armor and help my team out as much as I can. The E75 is much better in a closer range position than something that's really, really far back. So I'm trying to get up here. I should have just taken this shot, <laughs> but um, I am, you can see, I mean, even from here, I'm able to bounce. Like I said, you wanna wiggle, you wanna utilize that armor. The E75 is all about understanding its armor profile and also what the enemy tanks are capable of um, when facing you as well. So. Being that's the case, when I'm in a tier 10, or when I'm facing more tier 10s that are aiming at me, I try to be a little bit more conscientious. Tier 10s have a much better and greater penetration value. And when I'm against tier 8 tanks, I'm a little bit more aggressive. Just the way in terms, I'm much more confident in my armor. My armor is much more capable for that. So I'm still using a lot of the landscape. I'm trying to use a little bit more of flat ground and just a little bit of gun depression I have. And you can see how I can use that to my advantage. So the other thing about also using a tank like a heavy tank, the E75, I know a lot of players don't like it, but I also recommend carrying some sort of premium ammunition with you. So that, because in a heavy tank, you're most likely putting yourselves in positions to face other heavy tank strong points. So carrying that premium ammo and being able to know its capability uh, can really help out. So honestly, I really like the E75. I think it's a great tank. Um, it's just a matter of really understanding its armor profile. And when you have that down, you can really succeed and do well. Um, so this is the muffin here. Stay cool and keep tanking.